Welcome back to the RipeWave audio community, where we explore together all types of home audio systems from hi-fi to home theater. My name is John, and for this video, we enter the world of high-end headphone amplifiers by taking a look at the Woo Audio WA-8 Eclipse portable, single-ended, Class A, battery-powered headphone amplifier with DAC. While RipeWave Audio has reviewed the Clips T5 True Wireless Earphones, the WA-8 Eclipse is not a component for wireless headphones, but rather for delivering the highest quality signals to wired headphones without the sonic compromises associated with wireless. If you would like to view the T5 videos as well, I have provided links and a playlist to those for your convenience. Woo Audio is a high-end audio company out of New York that focuses on amplifiers and headphones. Many of their amplifiers are dedicated for headphone use and are tube-based designs as with the unit we are looking at today, the WA-8 Eclipse. The WA-8 Eclipse is designed for those seeking the best headphone audio experience, but would like the freedom to enjoy their music without being tied down to the location of their main music system. Wu Audio introduced the WA-8 Eclipse to the market in 2016, and since then, it has been the recipient of many favorable reviews. On first inspection, the device is compact and heavy for its size. It measures 6.7 by 3.6 by 1.7 inches and weighs 2.4 pounds. Quality materials are used and it comes with a plastic pelican style case or black leather case if you're willing to pay at least $75 more for the one of the two cosmetic upgrades. Premium build quality is expected at this price point, starting at $1,799 for the plastic case in space gray or black, $1,875 for black with a leather case option, and maxing out at $1,975 for the gold version with the leather case. The unit itself is metal with plastic only used for some of the switches and jacks. The volume knob is prominent, and given that volume controls will be the main user interface, it is good to see that Woo Audio is providing a volume knob that is weighty and has a smooth action. Certainly, those who are going to consider spending at this level for a headphone amplifier are going to expect the unit to perform superbly. Let's break down the design of the WA-8 and then report on how well Woo Audio accomplished its goals to produce an industry-first, class-leading, portable, tube headphone amplifier. The average portable music listener is not focused on sound quality. For them, it is about simplicity and convenience. The resulting solution, a smartphone and a pair of wireless Bluetooth earbuds, and they are off. For those who know and want better, the sound quality of the basic setup can be underwhelming. Even if you're uh, stylishly sporting the Apple iPod Pro at over $200 a pair. Some do a lot better, for example, the Clips T5 True Wireless Earphones, which Ripe Audio recently reviewed favorably. In fact, the T5 can be more than acceptable to those who care about audio quality. However, there are higher levels up from there, 
aimed at delivering a home reference level experience to the road. Today our mobile devices are the modern day Swiss Army knives in our pockets, capable of countless functions. However, we can only expect so much out of the DACs and amplifiers built into them, even when the amplification and DAC resides in the earbuds, we are still looking at circuitry that is ultra-condensed. Furthermore, the codecs used with Bluetooth devices were all lossy and compressed to conserve bandwidth. Therefore, to get closer to the performance of a reference system, you must move to a wired solution, and that solution must handle the digital to audio conversion and amplification at levels not possible within the constrained form factors of our phones, which are overly populated and subject to noise introduction within their signal paths. Furthermore, full-size headphones are more demanding when it comes to their power requirements, and an iPhone may not have enough muscle to drive them. The WA-8 Eclipse is a single-ended triode SAT Class A amplifier that is capable of providing a maximum of 350 watts output per channel at 50 ohm. This power output should be sufficient in most cases to support a wide range of headphones with an impedance range from 8 to 600 ohms. The Audio-Technica ATH-M40FS headphones I am reviewing the WA-8s with are 60 ohms and an easy drive for the WA-8s as they have close to the impedance where output is maximized. As the M40FSs are designed as flat response mixing headphones, I am more likely to hear the sound signature introduced by the WA-8s versus the headphones themselves. The single-ended triode topology of the WA-8s ensure a simple signal path that many audiophiles favor as that design does not require additional circuitry to separately amplify the positive and negative signals. The single-ended design helps to keep the harmonic distortion low. Likewise, the Class A design applies the same simplicity by amplifying over the entire range of the input cycle. Class A is unique in this regard, as other amplifier classes only amplify a portion of the input signal or employ a form of pulse width modulation to provide the gain. While Class A comes at the expense of efficiency, the WA-8 Eclipse is outputting well under a watt, so the heat generated from the energy loss is not to be a concern. Up until the 1970s, most power amplifiers for audio applications were vacuum tube amplifiers. Today, most amplifiers are transistor-based, also known as solid-state amplifiers. The switch was made to reduce weight, increase reliability, lower maintenance, and more practically achieve high wattage outputs. What was lost in the transition was a sound characteristic which many hi-fi enthusiasts prefer. Generally speaking, Tubes are known to take the harshness out of the high frequencies and provide a rich sounding mid-range. As digital music reproduction has the tendency to be shrill at the top end, enthusiasts often seek out two bass components for at least one stage of their audio setups. While some modern amplifiers only apply vacuum tubes for colorization, and still employ transistors to perform the main amplification task, the WA-8 Eclipse is an all-tube amplifier design, not a hybrid. 
the three sub-miniature tubes are military grade, and when warmed up, their orange glow is visible through a glass window, and the generated heat is ventilated from the top. As such, you will always want to ensure the unit is vertically positioned when running with the ventilation slot slots pointed up. The user can select between two and three tube operation to save power and experience a different sonic quality. Please note to avoid risk of damage, this mode is only to be changed while the unit is powered off. The two power tubes are 6S31Bs and the driver tube is a 6021. It is the driver tube which is turned off in the two tube mode. As these tubes are soldered to a circuit board, tube rolling is not possible. The tubes have an estimated life of 5,000 hours and replacement is facilitated by Wu Audio who can supply a re replacement board and installation instructions. While the WA-8 Eclipse is compact and fits easily on the desktop, its size, 2.4 pound weight, and the fragility of the vacuum tubes does not lend itself for use as a true mobile device. Instead, we can classify the WA-8 as a transportable device that is easily moved from one location to another in the supplied protective case fitting into a laptop case or backpack as you go to work. The WA-8 Eclipse is designed for off-the-grid battery operation, even when the power adapter is being used. This ensures that noise within the line power is not introduced into the signal path. The five orange LEDs indicates the battery level. With the power adapter disconnected, the lithium-ion batteries will operate the unit for about three and a half to four hours before needing a recharge. This should be sufficient in most listening conditions aside for a long plane ride. According to the manual, the batteries are only factory replaceable. The onboard digital-to-analog converter, DAC for short, is a Sabre ES9018K2M 32-bit stereo mobile audio reference DAC designed for audiophile grade portable applications and employs the ESS patented 32-bit hyperstream DAC architecture and time domain jitter eliminator. This reference DAC delivers a DNR up to 127 dBs and a THD of negative 120 dBs. Quite impressive. The architecture of the DAC chip can handle up to 32-bit, 384 kHz PCM data sources and DSD sources at 11.2 MHz. While Wu Audio does not mention the W88 as being capable of supporting DSD, there are reports from other reviewers stating that they have been successful with DSD sources managed by Rune and a Windows PC. To bypass the internal DAC in favor of an external DAC, your external DAC must be among the top tier of high-end DACs. Higher performing DACs can be found, but your choices will be limited and it may come down to preference rather than science. The manual of the WA-8 Eclipse outlines how to connect the unit to a Mac, PC, iPhone 5 or newer, iPad 4 or newer, Android phone, digital audio player, or analog source. The analog source can be anything from a turntable to an external DAC if you prefer your own over the Sabre base internal DAC within the WA-8. For analog sources, there is an eighth inch stereo phono connection. Digital sources plug into the asynchronous 
USB 2.0 Type-B port. While a USB cable is supplied with the unit, mobile devices will require a USB adapter which is not supplied. For example, the Apple camera adapter is crucial for connecting an iPhone or iPad. For older versions of Windows, a driver may also need to be installed and is available from Woo Audio's website. For my test setup, I am using an iPhone 6S with a camera adapter. The camera adapter I have allows for iPhone charging with the lightning connector in addition to the standard USB-A port. I also tested analog connections using an 8th inch stereo phono cable between my iPhone and WA8. It is not possible to connect an external amplifier to make use of the Sabre DAC as there are no outputs on the unit aside from the headphone outputs. For the headphone connectivity, they have supplied both quarter inch and eighth inch stereo jacks. This eliminates the need for adapters in most cases and it is a welcome feature of this device. So, how does it sound? Using the internal DAC, very, very good. The unit is extremely quiet. There is no presence of hiss or noise when turning the volume to maximum when not playing music. Playing Fleetwood Mac's rumors reveals details that are not heard on non-audio file equipment. The sound stage and stereo separation go beyond normal headphone amplifiers, and best of all, the mids and highs perform gloriously with the tubes contributing to the elevated experience without overcolorizing the sound. Bass was strong without being boosted. I feel as I'm hearing the music as it should be heard. It is a performance level that might even exceed many non-portable units. You can e easily forget that this unit is a compact form factor with the sense you are listening without compromise. As such, the main limitation becomes the source material and headphones you are using, not the DAC or amplifier. In fact, this setup would be great to qualify the quality of your source material and headphones. Switching from the internal DAC to the analog output of the iPhone lasted only a few minutes. It is clear that the iPhone DAC is inferior and such um, comparisons are better suited for higher end equipment. I also tested against my uh, Motu uh, Mark of the Unicorn M4 Pro Music interface which also has an ESS DAC, but um, is a Sabre 32 Ultra DAC with slightly lower specifications. Now the M4 held up well against the WA8 Eclipse, but the WA8 was preferred. However, the Motu M4 is at a much lower price point. This proves that it is possible to come close without spending nearly as much. However, you lose a few benefits of the WA8, the tube and Class A sound signatures, and the onboard off-grid battery power. Albeit, I can power the Motu M4 with a portable phone charger and achieve the same off-grid advantage. Paying the $1,799 price tag for the Woo Audio WA8 Eclipse can be justified and you can spend a lot more for a rig without portability or as good of sonic experience. It comes down to how much you are willing to spend for a notch up in performance and how much are you as an idealist. Furthermore, if you have difficult to drive headphones, the WA8 may stand alone in the portable category. As for the form factor, I don't mind that this unit is transportable and not a true mobile device. 
I do feel that the white labels on the unit are hard to read against the space gray background. If that is an issue for you, the black models may be preferred. The on-off and mode switches are a bit small and hard to move, but Woo Audio may have made that design decision so they wouldn't change positions while being transported. You don't want to have this unit turn on inadvertently as that could lead to overheating and put the WA-8 out of commission. If you are at the level where you're willing to pay for perfection, the WA-8 will not disappoint. For me, the unit serves as a great reference to know how good a headphone experience can get. Knowing what details are in my test recordings will better enable me to review all sorts of audio gear. It is easy to feel something is good until you have something better. I would like to thank my neighbor Steve once again uh, for putting this unit in my hands and letting me borrow this for a few weeks so we could do this review. If you also own the Woo Audio WA8 Eclipse headphone amplifier and DAC, I would be interested in hearing your feedback. Please include in the comments section, do you feel the added performance is worth the price of entry? That feedback would be useful to the RipeWave audio community. Furthermore, if you enjoyed this video and you are interested in enhancing your audio experience, please like and subscribe to this RipeWave audio community and be sure to select the bell icon so you'll be notified as soon as the next video is posted. Until then, keep enjoying your audio experience.